You won't find leftovers here. Instead, tools for research, dealing with a creeping influenza concern. We have seen this contemporary H5N1 virus uh, being circulating in the world, and now it seems this virus uh, has gained the ground in the North America. H5N1 has killed or infected more than 7 million birds in Canada since 2021. Recently, mammals have died from it, including someone's dog in southern Ontario. It died after chewing on a dead goose earlier this month. The threat to people continues to be low. But I see the urgency of developing vaccine. That's what's going on here, developing vaccines for birds and humans. Yan Zhou's team looks for pieces of the virus that this team can test on. The Saskatoon scientists are developing a series of vaccines against different strains of bird flu in case of virus mutation. So we're not only trying to prevent a, the next human pandemic, but also pandemic in our agricultural species. At this point, Alison Kelvin says Canada's poultry industry is most at risk, which translates into economic worries. When one bird on a farm gets H5N1, the entire population may have to be cold. So the devastation, is, it's twofold. It's one, the amount of the, the death and destruction that you're confronted with in the barns. And then there's the reality of you got to clean this mess up. Yelmer Wiersma says a vaccine preventing that experience would be great, but the challenge is finding the right combo. If it was in a method that uh, didn't get the birds sick, we were still allowed to export, you know, like it has to tick all the right boxes. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency says it's developing vaccine policies with the poultry industry right now. Health Canada says it has contracts with manufacturers to quickly secure lots of human vaccines should that be necessary. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Saskatoon.